Hi everyone, I'm getting ready to do a um, single wrap bracelet and I went ahead and got started. If you need uh, instructions on how to do a barrel knot, I have a tutorial on that. And also Kelly's Bee Boutique, she has an amazing tutorial on that. So I am using this beautiful gold plated disc oval disc um, swirl button and I just did a double barrel knot so I just attach some string wrap it around my um, bead mat uh, tray and attach the I have this a bit tight right now but I'll show you attach the string with a loose knot to the leather and we'll pull it back so we can get started so just make sure our cords are even and I went ahead and put the um, thread on the needle and I so this is the thread I use it's upholstery thread and I went ahead and waxed it, pre-waxed it. And there's my tube for my barrel knot. So we'll get started. We're going to attach this thread. Leave a bit of a tail because you're going to weave that in at the end. So if I'm going a bit too fast, just go ahead and pause and rewind. But the the idea I wanted to show you, so I do two knots. So I wanted to show you how fast you can do one of these. And this is a great way to practice for somebody who's just starting it. So I have these are beautiful carnelian uh, gemstones. So I'll just go ahead and I have 17 of those. And the amount of thread I use is two, um, one and a half arms length. So from fingertip to fingertip. Just put the first one on. Let's tighten this a bit. And so. You're going to go over the top hi <laughs> sorry for the interruptions my wife is talking to me through the door we have a bit of a joke i put a sock on the door to let her know that i'm shooting a video and uh you're joking saying that i'm like a college boy with a sock on the door Okay, so I went ahead and <laughs> strung the first bead, but I'll go through the next one with you. Okay, so these are pretty big, so you can see how the leather is, there's a bit of an angle there. Um, in some of the other ones that are not um, gemstones, I went ahead and um, put outside here I went ahead and put a seed bead in there but I'm just gonna go ahead that it, it's fine with these so you can see that bit of the let me see if there's one here anyway let's do the next one let's keep that out of the way so you're gonna string your bead pull it all the way down so you're going to bring it over the top you're going to hang on to it and then go over the leather and under through the bead and under the other piece of leather cord and bring all your string through and now you're going to adjust now these beads are bigger, so you're going to have 
to uh, reposition them. They're, they're not going to stay um, tight, so just be aware. Um, with a smaller bead, they will stay in position. And I'm going to switch that bead out. It's got a bit of a defect. Oh, the next one. Uh, and we got a knot. Yeah. Let's see if we can get that out. So just be careful when doing your knots. There. Okay, so over the top, around the back, through the bead, and pull. You see how it's moving all around? Oh, so it's that one. It's, and one of the ways you, you can tighten the cord is you pinch this side and pull. And you do that all the way up. Grab that cord and pinch the pull. That one's loose. I need to fix that. And there. Once you get a few on, then it stays pretty secure. Now I'm using just one single strand of thread, and for these, the holes are relatively big, and because the beads are big, they move around a lot. I'm gonna, when we get to the end of our beads, I'm gonna turn it around and we're gonna weave back up through the holes following the path of the original threading and that will secure your beads they'll make them um, tighter and it'll give it that extra protection it doesn't really need it I've been doing this for a while and using just one strand and I've never had any break but um, I just thought I'd try it it seems to be it looks pretty good with the extra thread I'll just keep going over the top, under, through, hold your bead, and pull that. Next one. We should do a timed marathon here. <laughs> See how many we could do in an hour. So I'm going to count this as part of my 100 bracelet challenge or 100 days of bracelet making challenge that Brittany from Turquoise Street started. Thank you, Brittany. This has been so much fun. I um, got started doing this again. I was doing a lot of malas and uh, boho bracelets stuff about 10 years ago and stopped doing it for a while when the isolation started I started watching Brittany's channel and um, was really motivated to get started again so I pulled out all my old beads and you know I'm surprised now when I start looking at how much like most of my stuff was either check glass beads or um, gemstones so that's pretty cool. So you can move your cording up, and that's why I like this method. So yeah, I um, it's exciting to go back to these gemstone beads. I was using a lot of um, Czech glass beads, and they're beautiful, but there's something about these gemstones that are awesome. I used to know all of them and could identify them and knew what they're um, what they're used for like healing and vibration and I've, it's been so long that I've forgotten 
but um, I know Carnelian's one of my favorite um, stones for vibration. I'm trying to think if I have. I what I would do is put a little card with the meaning of the stone. Like this is a red peacock zebra stripe, and it's uh, jasper, and it's grounding. And I don't know if there's any more in here, but anyway, yeah, we can look it up on the internet. I have a cat in my office. <laughs> They're not allowed in here, the cats. So my wife was, when she was interrupting, he snuck in. So I told her just to leave him. So now, of course, the door's locked or closed. So the cat wants out. <laughs> He's licking under the door. His brother must be on the other side. We are almost done. Look at it. So this is how fast this can be. One, the beads are bigger. And two, we're only doing one wrap. So there you go. I'm going to check the camera to make sure everything's in focus. It's a gray day out there today, so the lighting might be off a bit. Ugh. Everything's getting tangled here. And we'll switch out that bead. That looks good. The other thing I like about doing single wraps sometimes is it doesn't deplete your bead stock. And for people like myself and Brittany, <laughs> who are bead hoarders, or all, all the rest of you out there, this way you get to keep your beads and also make stuff with them. There's something on these beads. It might be the wax from the thread. So, we are done that section. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the bottom here. So just go through and hang on to this thread tight and pull it through the top and just pull tight. Now we are going to go, we are going to go under so we're going over this right hand leather cord uh, through the bead but we're going to come up the top and the reason being is that's we're going to follow the path up back up so through hold tight we're going to go under to the next bead up through the bead, under the other cord, pull it through, and tighten. And then we're going to go over that cord and up. And we're going to go through the bead and out the top of the other side. Pull. Then we're going to go up to the next bead but under then over up one under hold tight over that same bead then up and under go 
through the same bead over the top. I think I've hit every item on my desk with the thread. Ah! Okay. So we're going to go up and under. Through. Pull it tight. Through the top of that same bead. Up one, under. I'm going to try something here so you can see better. Let's tilt that a bit. And let's bring it in a bit more. It's really um, out of focus. Let me try another light. Anything. That's a little better. Sorry about that. Okay. So up through the same bead. Up one. Under. Pull. Over and through the same bead. Up one, under, pull tight, over the top through the same bead. Up one, over. Up one, under, over the same bead, up one, under, over the top through the same bead. Up one, my mom used to um, hem anything like my pants or my skirt, or and you know, when we were teenagers, we'd get new jeans or something like that, and we'd just roll them up. She's like, oh, take them off. I'll do it right now. And she did it all by hand. She never had a sewing machine. I was amazed how the amount of needlework she did by hand. Now, I, um, I started making baby quilts when I was 10 years old. I had a friend of mine. We used to go uh, scrounging, we used to call it. And we lived by a bunch of um, factories, and they had a factory that made crests for um, uh, like sports team jerseys and, and jackets and stuff like that. So these beautiful felt um, crests and stuff like that. So we used to go dumpster diving and pull out bags and bags of fabric, like the off cuts. And so we used to take that and... Uh, make quilts with all the off cuts. So I used to make some beautiful baby quilts. And this is the last one. So what I'm going to do to end this thread is I'm going to go back around and come down a bead or two. And uh, yeah, so you just basically weave it through. So, and you're going around the leather cord each time, so you want to make sure you do that. 
and I try and go through the um, the path of the previous thread. Oh, I should have taken that to the bottom. So just bring your needle through the bottom of the cord. I'll show you why. Make sure this is on camera. Just. Oh, I knew it was close. Okay. So here's our tail from before. Let's just put that aside for now. Because we're going to go in there and we're going to weave that through. So I went under the, the leather because what I want to do is now I want to go to the, the next bead down and I want to follow this path of the cord so you won't see that I actually did that. So like that and we're just going to go through the bottom of this as well. And that should be enough so I'm going to leave that off. And I'm going to clip that. And I had a trick that I used the other day. Let me see if I have the needle. Let me see if it's in here. I had a collapsible needle. go find it okay I took it off the board and I went ahead and um, put my needle on the tail the loose tail that we started with so you're gonna look at this and you're gonna find where the knot is so that's where this the cord is going through Let's see if you can see that there so you're gonna go through the bead at that spot and how you do that is just push the do you know what I think I need to change the camera angle so this is easier for both of us look at that and let's put some light on there sweet Okay, this was supposed to be easier. Uh, now the camera's in my way. Okay. So, there, you can see that better. So we're going to go through. What you do is you push your bead up a bit so you can find the hole. And push through. And watch what happens. It's magic. And the knot is gone. So now you have a bracelet with no knots. And that is not coming out. Um, we can go ahead and try and get rid of this by going through the bottom side. So you're going to push that up again. And through. And it is getting tight because we went through quite a few times. So pull that through, and we're going to clip that. Where's my scissors? Okay. I don't know what is going on today. There, there. I cannot find anything today. I made this beautiful bracelet, and I could not find my soft flex. I'll take that off. And Put our needle away safely and we can actually clip this one too. Toss those in the garbage. I'm going to put some glue on that and normally I put it in the bead but there's no space now so just a tiny bit there. Now that one will go in. And a bit. I'll do one more. You could actually go through all of these. It's really not necessary. But there, and we cover that up. 
And we're going to put some barrel knots on the end for the closure. So we get our nifty tool and we're going to hold everything together. And now both our cords are pretty much the same length, so it doesn't matter which one we use. So we'll just do one, two, and I'm going to do three here to finish it off. And it's all it's not quite three it's more like two and a half we put it through the tube and push the tube in as well put that all in and you can see it's coming through the bottom pull the tube out and your cord switch fingers hold on to your knots it's, you can see it wants to fall apart just try and hold it as best you can and I want it to come up a bit so I am going to just wiggle it up and pull tight and I do it a bit at a time and this leather I got from wholesale jewelry supply it is so beautiful and soft and I noticed that Kelly's Bee Boutique now stocks it so if you just want to get a smaller piece like because they're wholesale I get big spools of it and you want just a little bit you can go ahead and get it from Kelly's so we take this and see um, more than likely you're going to use the shorter end for your measurement so there is where we want our second barrel knot so position your tube and I use my fingernail to gauge so you see now we have a huge disparity in the length of the cord so I'm going to take the long one now so I'm going to do, so I'm gonna do it this way, one, two, three, and position your cord through the tube, push the tube in a bit, and switch fingers, hold your knots, and pull the tube out now you've got your that's about the size you want so you don't want it to go any further up so you just hold this and kind of wiggle your loops so that they move around a bit and oh, I might have gone a bit too far let me check here so double check that's perfect so pull that tight like that You're going to go ahead and measure it. So that fits. So now what we can do with these long pieces is we can do a barrel knot on the ends of them and it really makes them amazing. Where's my tube? Oh my gosh, stuff's disappearing everywhere. It's one of those days. Okay, we're almost done. So we want our knot about there. So let's start here. And we're just going to do two. Let's uh, take that here because we can always move our knot around. So let's two this way. It'll make it a little easier to go through the hole. So put that through there and bring your tube through and you see there's your little knot depending how long you want your tassel at the end let's let's bring it down a bit maybe about there we'll pull that tight and you can use your tweezers or your uh, needle nose pliers to pull that tighter if you need to like that squeeze it together we'll do the next one I don't normally do them um, even in the same position I usually do one longer than the other so we'll go ahead one 
and it does not want to go around. So you're always working your cord towards the middle and put your cord through the tube, pushing the tube at the same time. And we're almost there. There we go. Let's see where we are. We want this down a bit. And pull and down a bit. This one looks bigger. Sometimes the cord's a bit thicker at different spots. Yeah, there we go. Like that. And we're going to clip these down to about here. Look at that. Now you have a beautiful single wrap bracelet with a gold plated button. Look at that. Sweet. Oh. down and there you go that was easy so uh, it's showing 32 minutes here um, but uh, yeah so there you have it thanks for watching